गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज प्रोफेसर ए डी काळे फ्रॉम विश्वकर्मा इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नॉलॉजी पुणे आय एम फॅकल्टी इन मेकॅनिकल इंजिनिअरिंग डिपार्टमेंट माय क्वालिफिकेशन्स आर एम ई मेकॅनिकल फ्रॉम गव्हर्नमेंट कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग पुणे अँड डुईंग पी एच डी इन कोल्ड स्टोरेजेस फॉर व्हेजिटेबल प्रिझर्वेशन द नेम ऑफ द कोर्स दॅट आय एम गोईंग टू प्रिसाईड धिस सेमिस्टर is refrigeration and air conditioning this is the syllabus structure for b mechanical semester 1 there are five different subjects refrigeration air conditioning is a core subject three lectures per week of 1 hour duration is give mention in the teaching scheme and 2 hours of practical per week is also given for this particular subject examination scheme or system is similar to third year there will be in semester examination of 30 marks duration is 1 hour and the three units which are mentioned in the syllabus will be there for our ac subject after the in semester examination end semester examination for 70 marks and duration of 2 and 1/2 hours will be there and all six units which are given in the syllabus are included for the examination both in sem and end sem examinations are of theory type theory examination type but along with this theory examination for laboratory work the two types of examination systems are there 25 marks are for the term work and 50 marks for the oral based on the eight experiments given in the syllabus oral examination external examiner will be there and it is recommended that minimum 40% marks in in same examination as well as end semester examination is necessary in order to go for higher rank course objective for refrigeration air conditioning subjects are learning the fundamental principles and different methods of refrigeration and air conditioning study of various refrigeration cycles and evaluate performance using molier charts or refrigerant property chart hence i recommend here i appeal here to all the students to come with the steam table as well as relevant refrigerant charts in order to solve the assignments during the in class activity comparative study of different refrigerants is also one of the objectives understand the basic air conditioning processes and study of various equipment operating principle safety controls in refrigeration air conditioning system is also one of the objectives of refrigeration and air conditioning course outcomes are more important from national board of accreditation while handling this particular course and it is expected that the student should go for the analysis or application or evaluation or maybe the creation level during their teaching learning activity based on the following outcomes illustrate the fundamental principles and applications of refrigeration air conditioning obtain cooling capacity and cop that is coefficient of performance by conducting test on vapor compression refrigeration system present properties application environmental issues of different refrigerants calculating cooling load for air conditioning systems used for various applications and operate and analyze this is from laboratory activity point of view operation and analysis of refrigeration and air conditioning setups which are available in the laboratory 
is also one of the important course outcomes of this RAC course. If you see the syllabus, unit 1, fundamental applications of refrigeration and air conditioning. Here you will find the first part related with the fundamentals. We will definitely cover in the class. Some numerical treatment is also expected. But this is the fundamental where we have to apply the knowledge of reverse Carnot cycle. Representation of refrigerator heat pump in a thermodynamic manner. But the part 2 of the unit that is application is like understand and recall levels of Bloom's taxonomy. And therefore, here we are going to use some different approach or learning technique to complete this application part. In unit number 2, again we will understand that part 1 related with the refrigerants is like understand and recall level means remembering activity and therefore during the course we will discuss the various online courses which are available various online good material that is available to understand this particular topic by the student maybe at home or other than that of the class whereas in the class we will our more focus will be on vapor compression cycle and all the contents which are given in the syllabus. The unit number 3 is partly on vapor compression system where we have to understand the single stage, two stage and cascading of vapor compression cycle system using single as well as multi evaporator. Vapor absorption system is a part 2 in that except numerical part the different types of absorption system and applications of vapor absorption system its comparison with the vapor compression cycle are like lower level of Bloom's taxonomy that is understand and recall. Here also we will take help of or we will use some different approach that we will understand during our course subsequently. A recommended reference books for the RAC is are like are mentioned here. DOSAT principles of refrigeration, CP Arora refrigeration and air conditioning by Tata Magro Hill third edition and subsequently there are some other books which are also mentioned and many are available in our laboratory, in our library. Here, try to recollect there are few national repositories which are available like NPTEL videos, NPTEL YouTube channels as well as some international repositories are also displayed in this particular slide. Open course where material is also available. And now, this time, we are definitely going to use these online resources while handling few theoretical aspects of understanding the refrigeration and air conditioning course. There are few important sites are also available like IIT Bombay X for online quizzes purpose. Because these are important from training and placement activity point of view, competitive examination the final year students are going to face in their future soon and therefore these sites are also very important. We all understand that the there is need to change or the add some new aspect in the conventional teaching. Our conventional teaching is and was based on information transmission process that, that was taking place or that is taking place during the class. Whereas 
assimilation of the things which are explained in the class were done by the students outside the class this was the approach in the conventional teaching we want to change it and switch over to new approach that is use of ICT in education for online and blended learning like flip classroom think pair share activity open online courses open learning management system like moodle information acquisition will be done outside the class whereas assimilation will be done inside the class our goal is to increase the effectiveness flip classroom is nothing but student watch videos pdf files or ppts at home whereas active learning will be there in the class few videos to understand the revised bloom taxonomy will be also discussed during the class flip classroom for rsc course if you see the out of class component information on new topic through videos ppt pdf material this will be done by the student at home or a hostel room in class component like application assimilation design activities will be done in the class thank you very much